Okay, so... As it turns out, I didn't save from the last thing. And I ended up having to replay that whole video. Also, so, yeah. That got cut off, so I'm just gonna start from here. Ice Grip Plateau. Oh, wow, that's where mythical fossils from ancient times await you on in the ice. Just thinking of it gives me chills. And not cause, because of the cold, but because I'm excited. It is very cold there, or so the NBCs say. It seems our little jelly plan has ended in abject failure. First Cole and now Lester. The, idiot the idiosity of my commanders is becoming a real bone of contention. I'm just sorry, Don Boatyard. Don't take it so hard there, chum. I'm sure your little brain worked as hard as it possibly could. Please, Don Boneyard, hear me out. I have a new plan that's bound to work. See, this time we distract all the male fighters with hip electronic gadgets so they forget the cup. I just need video games, DVD players, about 300 cell phones, and the world's largest flat screen TV. Don Boneyard, wait, my new plan is gonna rock your socks off. See, this time I'm gonna sneak chocolate pudding into the hot spring. Call it Operation Dump Gooey Pudding into the Hot Spring. And then that's followed by Operation Laugh Maniacally. Stick that plan in your mirror, wannabe. You're so tragically unhip, it hurts. Oh, wow. It's like the both of you are the exact same guy. Ah, Lola. Where have you been? Huh? Oh, right. Sorry, Don B, but I had to do a little karaoke. See, if I sing for six hours hours or so, it aligns, my, it aligns all my energy and gives me maximum power. That's a fourth of your day. So, yeah, I think you can relax now, Don B. You gotta plan that'll cancel that cup in a flash. It's groovy, man. You gotta love it. I wouldn't be so confident, sister. It's actually not that bad of a plan, as you'll find out. It's just... I'm too awesome for it. Yeah, I mean, I had a great plan. Look how that turned out. Yeah, but your plans were, like, totally useless, right? You gotta be like me, guys. You gotta, like, expand your mind. I must admit, after seeing these two fools flare about, I have doubts your plan will succeed so easily. However, Lola, you're one of my three commanders, and I suppose I deserve to give you at least one chance. Very well. We shall execute Lola's plan immediately. Aw, oh, thanks, Dombey. Could I maybe use a little help from the boys? Cole, Lester, you will give Lola whatever assistance she requires, and make no bones about it. I will not accept another failure. I love all their stupid bone jokes. Uh, of course, Don Boneyard, w whatever you wish. Aw oh, man, I don't want to play second fiddle to some backup singer. But yeah, alright, I'll do it. Sorry. You're totally gonna love the plan, Don B, I promise. I'll fight it be like, bummer, and then we'll all be like, woo! Bummer, I guess. Oh, right, ice cream plateau. I really, 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 really like this dig site. It's probably my favorite in all of the games, and I'm just not gonna run, because I don't feel like it. Um... Mainly because of the music. And, well, I like the graphics, but I absolutely love the music. It's, like, pretty. Let's see. Isn't it awesome? Oh, come on! Honestly! Urgh. Hello, Digga Dig. It's very chilly here, isn't it? Take care, Digga, not to catch a cold. Aw, oh, Digga Dig. Practicing like this isn't helping me at all, Digga. Ma? Gaya! You are spying on me, weren't you, Fuzzy? Yeah. Wait, what? You also spied on me back at Hot Spring Heights? Y you are a terrible person, do you know that? <laughs> Trust me, people remind me all the time. You don't spy on people when they're embarrassing themselves, and you especially don't do it twice. And you super especially don't do it three times. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess it's not really your fault. So, um, I guess you want to know what I was doing just now, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, but only because it's you. Oh, fuzzy. I was practicing how to talk to people. Oh, I admit it. I'm a fraud. I act all boastful and snobby, but I'm actually totally shy and terrified. 
I can't even talk to people. I get all nervous and jittery and then everything just falls apart. Whenever I meet someone I don't know, my face gets red and my tongue starts tripping on itself. Anyway, the only way I can get around is by wearing this mask. Mask. It's a magical mask. It gives whoever wears it a cheerful, sunny personality. It's one of my village's greatest treasures. And yet, I want nothing more than to be free of this mask forever. I want to talk with my own voice and see with my own eyes, but but, but I'm too scared to do it, so that's why I keep practicing. So, um, what do you think, Fuzzy? Will I ever be able to take the mask off? Well, the last game, I was- well, on my other file. <laughs> I was a nice person that was like, of course you will, Pauline. <laughs> no. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's not something I can just do overnight. I just thought, I mean, I was hoping you might encourage me, you know? Maybe help me find my courage. Nah, I don't do that. But I guess you're right, Fuzzy. I have to fight this battle alone. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying, and I'm gonna fight with everything I have. Before the cup ends, I'm gonna take off this mask for good. I swear it, Fuzzy. I'm not gonna let myself fail. Just, maybe you can cheer me on when I do it, okay? I'm glad it was you who saw me, Fuzzy. I think I would've died if it was anyone else. <laughs> you would've died. <laughs> I wouldn't have been sad. No offense. Still, I should probably find some place even more secret to practice, huh? See ya, Fuzzy, and thanks for listening. Get off my dick sight with your music. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you. Pretty! Hi, Professor. Stop interrupting my music! Ugh, mm, snuffle, snort, mm, roaring fire, and snuggly blanket. Ugh, mm. Fresh hot chips and pickled kippers. Oh, this guy's definitely British. Chips! Snort. Hey, Fuzzy. Brr, it's really cold. I bet if you fall asleep here, you'd never wake up. Holy cow, someone did fall asleep here. Come on, Fuzzy, you have to wake up this old guy before something terrible happens. So we wake someone up by tossing them into the air. Like, he's a grown man. And pretty fat grown man at that, and we're like two really skinny kids. That's realistic. Burgle, burgle. Burg hmm? what? Good heavens, I appear to have fallen asleep. How terribly careless of me, eh, uh, what? By my stars, if it isn't Fuzzy, I appear to be in your debt yet again, my young rescuer. You are a friend of Fuzzy, I presume. <laughs> yep, I'm Todd, nice to meet you. Well met, old bear, I am Professor Nigel Scatterly, curator of the Calisteo Museum. I've dedicated my entire life to studying the history of these islands. I say, I have a capital idea. I should acquaint young Todd here with the history of the Calio Slab Slablet. Um, actually, you don't really have to. Ahem, <clears throat> yes, well, in the distant past long ago, the kingdom of Calistia was ruled by King Zonga Zonga. You know, isn't that different? Because we're learning about ancient Egypt and, um, Welsh letters, so, yeah, kind of similar. And that is everything we know so far. Yes, quite. Ha, 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 I got the skip and I just got a black screen. Ha, loser. <laughs> uh, that was like sitting through history class. But hold, there's more. For you see, I have yet another Calio Slablet on this very spot. So without further ado, please allow me to translate it for you both. Ooh. Aha, this is Slablet number two. You couldn't stay hidden forever, you cheeky little artifact now, could you? Very well, now then. Zonga Zonga's immortality spell unleashed a great and terrible power. With this magic, he could force his own skull into the head of another being, thereby assuming his very being. By taking over new bodies as his current one aged, Zonga Zonga assured himself of eternal life. This unfortunate victim was chosen- <coughs> The unfortunate victim was chosen to give his body as long- As- was known as a majestic vessel. To be chosen as a majestic vessel was a fate worse than death, and the people feared it above all else. Ooh, yeah. Creepy voice. In my opinion, it's creepy. Good heavens, it seems Zonga Zonga was nothing more than a common magical body thief. Not that there's anything common about that, at what? 
I say, this is all quite fascinating, don't you think? I think so. I mean, some, like, immortal god kind of being evil. I think that's true. <clears throat> if the people of ancient times endured Zangazong- I wonder if the people of ancient times endured Zangazong's rule across countless generations? Perhaps they were clever enough to confront, con confront and defeat this terror? By my knickers, this gnaws at me. I must know what happened to those poor people. <laughs> Incoming FMS message. Howdy there, Pard. It's me, Joe, and I'm afraid we've got a problem on our hands. I need the patrol team to mount up and gather at my suite immediately. I don't get the- <laughs> Oh, thank goodness, the music. <laughs> Joe sounded worried. We better get over there right away. Achoo! 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 Err, <laughs> my head hurts, and I'm freezing. Because that's how quickly it happens in real life. Sweet fish and chips. The slide is running a dangerously high fuel. <laughs> Oh, no, I skipped the text box. How do you know that? Just by staring at him. Achoo! Watch you? Who says watch you? S sorry, Fuzzy. I don't think I'm gonna make it see Joe. Don't you see why I love this music? It's amazing. I don't know if anyone out here plays it, but um, at the end, there's like this area, and it sounds like Kingdom Hearts. like, But like the menu music. It's like really pretty and like high-pitched. In my opinion, it does. Mm. Yeah, I don't know the music well enough, so I'm gonna do it. So, I think I'm gonna do a new walkthrough. Like,. I'm gonna keep going with this one, but there's this one game that I just beat, and I, I really want to do a walkthrough of it. it. It's a really good game. Then I go. Hello, Pauline. Thanks for coming, Fuzzy. Now we just gotta wait for Todd, and... I'm just kinda gonna gesture my hands, and he's gonna be like, What's that? Poor feller went and caught himself a cold? Now don't that just beat all? And it's like, oh yeah, I immediately know that. Maybe some sort of super secret Calisteo sign language. I don't know. <laughs> well then, I reckon this is all the patrol team we're gonna have today. Well, we gotta think. One day one of us is gonna get absent. Probably gonna be a day two of us are gonna get absent. Three of us isn't enough. Huh? Even if Rupert like did join us like four wouldn't be. Actually Rupert should be here too. <clears throat> Anyways, what's this about Joe? You said it was serious. Keep this under your hat, but some varmint went and stole our super electromites. Super electromites are extremely rare fossil that put out a near preposterous amount of energy. Fact this entire fossil park runs on just three super electromites. Well, it's nice that you're doing your part to help the- Ah, oh, crap, I skipped the box, yeah. To help the environment. They went straight to the generator rooms and made off with the super electromites. We're running on regular electromites right now, but I reckon them boys ain't gonna last much longer. But what happens then? The world ends. Nothing, nothing good, I'm afraid. Lights go out, auto doors won't open, KL3 and all them VMMs will fill- Oh yes, we have to do this! Yeah, um, screw this. I, I'm, I'm siding with the BB Brigade now. Nah, brigade. Brigade. Pretty much be sitting in the dark, I reckon, and forget about cleaning or reviving your fossil rocks. That's terrible. It would be the end of the entire Calisteo fossil park. Who cares? Kale 13 ends with it. Let's go. Actually, you know, I should have just let Ganache come, you know? It, he would have been gone. It would have been worth it. I don't know. That's why we gotta recover them super electrolytes as soon as possible. I've heard rumors that the culprits are hiding out at one of the dig sites. I sent Stella, Terry, and Kent out to try and track them down, and I'm hoping y'all can join the search. Of course, I won't stand, while b that stand by while a bunch of jerks shut down the park. <clears throat> it does my heart good to hear that, little lady. Anyway, I'd like you to search out... Take a guess. Ice Grip Plateau. Good luck, y'all. Let's head to Ice Grip Plateau. Pauline joins you. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to put her in a corner, because that's just so fun. Okay, let's try here. Sorry that I'm doing this on camera, but it's just so fun, you know? Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Ah, uh, you have no escape. Come on! <laughs> I did it, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. <gasps> hey. Hey, we're gonna do this after you. What? I told I told you I wanted nothing to do with you people. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me. Help you? I'm sorry, what part of Leave Me Alone was confusing to you? Listen, Rupert, someone sold the super electromites that power this park. If we don't get them back, no one will be able to clean or revive their fossil rock. Pauline, shut up. I can take on them. It's not like they're hard. <clears throat> Joe asked Fuzzy and me to search at Ice Grip Plateau, so that's where we're headed. Come on, Rupert, we need your help. <clears throat> this is none of my concern, excuse me. Say that, but I know it's a lie. Deep down, you love battling Rupert. I know you do. And you'd be heartbroken if they cancelled the cup. <laughs> it's time to be honest about your feelings. It's time to show some, some backbone and stop being your father's puppet. Da 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 Ah. Oh, I chase after him. Can't believe I told him to show some backbone. I'm not even brave, brave enough to take this stupid mask off. I don't have the right to yell at anyone. Well, this is no time to sit around feeling sorry for myself. We've got to get to Ice Grip Plateau. I'm going ahead. I'll see you there. Bye. Honestly, I don't really need anyone's help. I could do this all by myself. I mean, I've played a storyline before. I know what to do. You know? I have strong enough dinosaurs to, like, kill everything that I need to. It's not hard. I'm gonna end this part soon, but first I wanna go to Ice Grip, because, you know, I just love the music. Okay. Last time, I didn't really get a chance to show you all of it. So let's do that now. Whee! I'm just gonna, like, see how I get here. That is that place. I mean, I actually forget where they are. Oh. My bad. That place was not that place. Don't ask. There you are, Fuzzy. There's some creepy people up here, so we should probably go together. Darn. I don't like going with people. Sinister. Sure. You had better not change music on us, BB Brigade. Oh hey, you made it. Cool. I thought you'd be here sooner, but yeah. Why does everyone in video games say like, oh, I thought you'd be here sooner, you're so late, and it's like, I just came here. Yeah. yeah, like, this is a pretty big deal and all, so I was expecting someone to find us sooner. You're with the Bare Bones Bridge Gate. No, the skulls aren't obvious to that. Totally. Although, actually, I won the three Bare Bones Bridge Gate commanders. I'm the groovy chick, Lola. Yeah, I don't know how to, like, talk like her. So, did you dig my plan to steal the super electrolytes? Because I thought it was totally wicked. <laughs> nice bubble gum. See, because you can't clean her vibes, and, like, there's not going to be a cup in there. It actually is a really smart plan, honestly. Way smarter than the other two. It's gonna totally harsh the smell of every fighter in this park, man. I can't wait. You won't get away with this, hippie. Give back those super electrolytes. Yeah, but no, I don't think you were listening to me. 
Remember the part where I like said I wanted to be the fighter to be outside about the cup? So then I'm probably not gonna get give the super electric back. Fine then, we'll just settle this with a fossil battle. Oh man, like that's too funny. Well, well, if it isn't the fighter who ruined my awesome plan. Yeah, awesome and sexist. I'm very excited to see you again, kiddo. You have no idea. Gar ha ha, I'm gonna thrash you good for what you did to me at Mount Krakenak. Uh-oh, I don't know if we can take out all three of these groups, Fuzzy. Oof. We've won before it's even begun. Oh man, that's like rhyme. Cool. Um, actually we can. I, I disagree. I I'm strong enough to handle two people at once. Looks like all three B three B B Br brigade commanders suffer from a terminal case of overconfidence. So do I. Hey. 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 Rupert, but, but why? Because you're right, because I need to start being more honest with myself. I like this cup, and I'm looking forward to facing Fuzzy in a fossil battle. But why didn't you fossil battle the first time, honest? I, I would have loved to shove your face in that. That was fun. So I decided I would be most disappointed if it was cancelled. Rupert, you're the best. Ha, huh, now it's three on three, losers. Man, this is like totally like annoying. Cole, Lester, it's time to take out the cycle, man. With pleasure. Yo. <laughs> okay, uh, B. Jara, B. Brachio, B. Lambio. Okay, give me a sec. Um. Da 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 Sure, whatever. Oh right, there's slippery ice here. That's not good. Slippery ice is so annoying. I swear. There. She's pretty. You know, that one slate guy, he liked that Vivian right there. It's a very, very original idea to have the announcer as like the girl in the, um, in the evil thing. Yeah, very original. Definitely not talking off your last game whatsoever. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. Lola's picture has a bubble in it. It's like, well, bubble gum. Yeah. It'd be weird if it was a soap bubble. Like, it's a picture in a soap bubble. Yeah. yeah. Slippery ice! Slippery ice is like so annoying. Like, totally messes up my battle. I don't know any of the music in this game, do I? Actually, I have ice cream plateaus memorized, because that's just so awesome.
Oh my gosh, it's stupid slippery ice again. It like totally is stupid. But it's actually really fun. Be like, uh, yeah. This is so me, me. Uh, be broke, yeah. points, which is a pretty good amount for this point in the game. Like I said at the beginning later on, it's like, oh yeah, 50 point battle, 50 point battle, 40 point battle, 30 point battle. In the after game, there are actually some 70 and, eight point, and 80 point battles. It's, it's like crazy. <laughs> this is a total bummer, man. Yeah! All this losing is really starting to cramp my style. Speaking of cramp, this is a really uncomfortable position with like, um, the camera on, I guess. I am so angry, nerd! Level up. <laughs> it's so random! <laughs> Honestly. <sighs> oh gosh, that was like three times. Alright, chumps, hand over the super electrolytes. <laughs> ah! Oh man, like, what was that? An earthquake! You're gonna get trapped under a boulder and I'm out, and I'm gonna have to, like, use my cleaning tool. Oh no, it's the, it's the boulder thing. I don't know, but it don't feel right. <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh. It's like a whale. Actually, it doesn't look like a whale at all. Oh, I hate this place so much. It, like, creeps me out. Honestly, listen to that. It, it, ugh, ugh. Where are we? Well, we were at Ice Crypt Plateau, and then there was that huge wave, and then we all died, and now that- Oh no, we've been swallowed by a whale! Oh, this is so realistic. Wow, we're gonna be digested, exactly! I don't want to be whale food, I'm too beautiful, wow! Slap a fish and call me Ruffy, I come over to investigate all this racket, and instead I find company. What, um, hello, do you live here? The name's Robinson, and it's a right pleasure to meet ya. You didn't answer the question. Do you live here? This whale's called Bohemus, see, and he likes to chew on ice cubes. According to my friend, that's a very original name. <coughs> sarcasm, sarcasm. I've honestly never heard it before, but I don't think it is original. So there I was, doing a bit of fishing on ice flow, and he swims cool as you please. Dagnab fish up and swallowed me in one bite. That was near ten years ago now, give or take a few. <laughs> Loser, you've been in a whale for ten years. You've been here for ten years by yourself? Yeah, I ain't by myself. I done gone made a friend. See what do you eat? On what do you drink? <sighs> Let me introduce you folks to my best friend in the whole wide whale. Bolivar. Now, Bolivar, where's your manners? Go on and say hello to the nice folks now. Uh-huh, yeah, I know. It's gonna be a lot louder with all these folks here. Well, Bolivar, that's good to hear. I'm happy to have company myself. Psst, that's just a ball with a face drawn on it. Perhaps his loneliness was so great that he felt the need to invent a friend. Trust me, I would've done that if I were in a whale for ten years. Don't... Aw, oh, look at me, flapping my gums while you stand here ankle-deep in chums. You folks should wander around, see the sights, get acquainted with your new home. This year, Bohemia swallows all kinds of stuff, so if you want it, you can probably find it. In fact, take a look over yonder. Is it fifty million dollars? Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, 
No. Oh no, teleporter is broken. But you can still switch dino metals in and out, so that's something. Hello, Beep. I was swallowed along with this, with this revive machine. Boop. Even in this terrible place, I can still I can help all with all your cleaning needs. Boop. The combination of boop and whoop. Oh, hey, that's handy. Thanks, Gale. Three, three, and how do you like him? He's so annoying when you clean. He's like, oh yeah, do this, do that, do this, do that. Please, be more careful. Robinson, is there any way to escape from this place? No, you're trapped here forever. Escape? Fish guts, why would you want to go and do a thing like that? <clears throat> well, if you're serious, I suppose you could take it up with Lord Tonzilla. Take a guess at what that is. He's what you might call the supreme ruler of this place, see? He's at the top of the food chain and at the top of Bohemoth's digestive tract. <clears throat> oh, I hate this music so much. <laughs> If you folks could defeat Lord Tonzilla, he might be able to leave this place. But I can't imagine why I'd want to do some such a thing, and neither can Bolivar. Oh my gosh, let me save and end this part already. Okay, I don't care what the crazy man thinks. We have to beat Lord Tonzilla and get out of here. <clears throat> I hate to play the optimist, but at least we can excavate clean and rough. I hate to play the optimist. <laughs> Who hates to play the optimist? Although some optimist people are really stupid. Yes, well, we should split up and prepare ourselves. We'll meet again in the Bohemus Digestive Tract. Okay, end of part. Honestly, this is too creepy. Uh, I don't know why I haven't turned the camera off yet, but y you're gonna stay with me until I finish saving. <laughs>